my shepherd youth it is Giselle um, I've been on here a couple times usually with one of my greatest friends ever Ruby Kedney um, today I'm gonna be doing a video um, about five things I wish I knew about God in high school um, being out of high school now I'm gra in my going into my senior year of college so reflecting on high school was uh, feels like it was not that long ago but anyways um, I just wanted to share with you guys a few things that I wish I knew. So I have my paper because I wish I knew a lot back then, but I only had to keep it to five. So anyways, the first thing I wanted to share with you guys is that um, I think growing up in church, we hear that like God is our father and we can come to him with um, all things and stuff like that. But um, I wish that I kn I didn't just know God as my father. Um, meaning like someone that I had to be obedient to, but I wish I knew that he was also my friend um, because I think God wants us in, in the happy and in the tough times. Um, and he's just a friend who wants to have a conversation with you. And I think if I had that outlook instead of I needed to be obedient to him, majority of the time, almost like a parent role, that I probably would have been more open with him about a lot of stuff in my life. Um, so yeah, that's, that's one thing. Uh, the second thing I wish I knew was, um, I wish I knew that God's strength was stronger than my own. And as like obvious as that sounds, like obviously Giselle isn't stronger than God, but I thought that my heart was strong enough to handle a lot of things in high school when the reality is, is God wants to be my strength and he can be strong he is stronger than me um and that even even greater than that that i don't have to like god wants me to give all that stuff to him um so i think i just learned in high school that i think i had more of like a pride issue um thinking that i could handle everything or i could be strong enough through everything when the reality is, is i am so weak and the lord is just greater and stronger so yeah, just give it to him uh, when it comes to the hard stuff. My paper just almost flew away. Um, anyways, uh, the third thing that I want to mention is that I wish I knew God wanted me to find him in my own way. And let me clarify what I mean by this. I feel like in high school, I had a really hard time. Like, you know, people would always talk about doing devotionals or they had a quiet time. And for me, I tried quiet times. I tried devotionals. All those things felt really hard for me uh, to connect with God um, because sometimes my att attention span wasn't there or whatever. Um, more so recently, I found, I've found i found that I connect to God through nature. So whether I go to the beach um, and I take my Bible or through worship music um, throughout my day or listening to a podcast um, while I'm at the gym, uh, I think God is so unique to each and every one of us and has a different relationship with each and every one of us. So I think I had uh, a problem with like comparing, oh, this person can like stay focused and read their Bible and that's how they connect to God and they're so good with their prayer or this or that and I so badly tried to sit in focus and read my Bible or I tried for the longest time to sit in like prayer um, and I felt like I was just I don't know I think you just have to try different things to feel how you connect with God the most so yeah I just wish I knew that the Lord wanted me to be unique with him and our relationship was going to be different and was going to look different from other people's. Another thing I wish I knew, and I don't really know if this is something I wish I knew, but growing up, you hear all about God's promises, the things he has for you. Um, everything you go through is for a reason, a greater purpose, all this stuff. Um, and I think because I heard that so much, I was just like, okay, my life is what it is. This is what's supposed to be happening. But I didn't really believe everything that God said. I just, I heard it, but I never like, it registered here, but it didn't register here. And so a lot of things have registered here um, in my life now. 
And I feel like if I knew, if I took what was in here and I put it here, I would have understood more. I would have been more in tune with the Lord. I would have wanted to be closer to the Lord. Um, because I think knowing something in your head and knowing something in your heart are completely different. Because when you know something with your head, you can choose to ignore it or yeah, you can choose to ignore it. But in your heart, when you feel something in your heart, I, I believe personally, when I feel something with my heart, I'm more inclined to do to do or believe whatever it is that has been spoken to me whether it's by the lord another person um so yeah i just wish i believed all the good things um and sometimes even the hard things that the lord has to deliver to us um because i just feel like when you believe the lord there's this trust that comes with that it is so bright out here i'm so sorry um but yeah, I feel when you when you believe what the Lord has to say in your life, you start to trust him in a different way. And when you trust him, I feel like there's this surrender that comes that you just feel a little bit more light. So I wish I was just able to know that I could trust the Lord. Um, so my last one that I want to share, which is really, really huge for me now because... I just, I believe it, so I walk with a different confidence than I did in high school. Um, but I wish I knew that I was chosen by God. And I know that we hear we are His chosen people, you know, um, but I think when we realize our, for example, this is the best way I know how to explain it. When your parents decide to have a kid, they're just like, yes, like we're taking the next step. We're going to have a baby. They don't, but the Lord is like, knits you together in your mother's room. He knew you were going to be here today, right now, hundreds and thousands of years ago. And so I just think when you realize like how the Lord designed you like he handcrafted you he made your heart he made you who you are and he chose you and he chose you then and then he chose you when he was here on earth when he decided you know I'm gonna send my son and he's gonna go to the cross for Giselle or for Caitlin or um, Josh like do you know what I mean and he wants to choose us daily in that quiet time. I just feel like I'm being shafted by the sun right now. Um, sorry, I got distracted. Um, but yeah, the fact that he chose us in our hearts and he just chooses us daily to me makes me want to choose him in that same way. So I wish I knew that I was chosen in that in that way because I feel like when you truly know that and you believe that you walk with a different confidence um you don't I don't know you're just a different a different you but in in a in the best way possible um but I just wanted that those are the five things that I wish I knew about God in high school I tried to keep them really short because you know attention span is not that long so I know um, anyways I just wanted to leave you guys with um, an encouraging piece of scripture and it's coming from it's Jeremiah 29 13 and it goes you will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart um, and I think I've I know all of this now because I'm fully searching for the Lord with all of my heart and I just want to encourage you guys um, to to try to search uh, the Lord with all your heart. Um, I think right now in high school, yes, there's a lot going on, but it's also a time in your life where you can uh, build such a great foundation uh, to take into this next season of your life, you know, um, whether it's going to college or you get a job or whatever, um, relationships, all that stuff. Um, and when you can build that like amazing foundation with the Lord and you guys are in sync and connected. I think your decisions, your walk, all of that will be 
like three times greater than what you can imagine. So yeah, well anyways, I love you guys and I hope to see you on another video sometime soon. Bye guys.